I ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, Radio personality for the KTLK? Chower hour? Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. How so? This place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood.
The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into... What's up? Oh. Uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? Always. You should come out and see my band, A Bowl of Cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're going to ruin the place. Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn the girls in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. Uh, hey, you know, you should really... You I'm glad you asked like that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito top. Whoa, that's like deep, man. Where did I park my car again? Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude. Put your hands up! Put your fucking hands up right now! Open the register. What? I said open it, fucktard. Oh god, oh god, don't hurt me! God damn, you're pretty. What are you doing, man? Just having some fun? Please, please, just... That's right, bitch. Beg for it. Look, leave her alone. Shut your fucking hole and open the register! Thank you. Oh, thank you. I was so scared. I just stopped off to buy some milk for the baby. Oh, God, I can't believe how close he came to losing me. Here, please, just take it. I insist.
Yeah? What do you want? Yeah? Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch! Alright. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. I... I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the... Things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. It. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find ginger swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ!
Master? Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was... It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I, I can't believe it. Yeah. Sorry. My mistake. Did you see it? He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and the, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. The dead feller called him Muddy. Oh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. But just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to ever think about that again. <laughs>